Hello, nobody asked for a tutorial, but I'm gonna give you one today. So, hello, welcome to a new video. Um, it's been three weeks since I last did my other one, which is decent because I normally leave it six months. So I think we're getting there. Uh, yeah, so no one did ask for this tutorial, but I'm gonna do a, um, what I do in the morning routine makeup tutorial thing. What is that? Oh, that's fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna I'm gonna show you and stuff <laughs> and I'm gonna try to do makeup stuff and yeah oh I don't know maybe I should have it zoomed in so you can see what's going on my face maybe that's too close maybe like that then you can kind of get an idea of what's going on so yes makeup tutorial this is me with no makeup on my face you can see the bags you can see the spots you can see the, the, the life on my face. I'm just gonna get the James Charles palette because I'm gonna try that as well today. Why not? So this is what I wanna do. This is what I do in the morning when I get up. Okay, so first thing what I do is I wake up, have some water, because hydration is perfect. And it always misses my face and goes down my throat, so. Hydration in the morning because you need some hydration. Or oh, my my another good friend, coffee. Good old Starbucks. Gotta get that extra zing. Gotta wake up a little bit more. Okay, cool. So that's what I start with. Then I have a shower and then I do my hair or I'll put stuff on and stuff. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is what happens. And then I have one of these every morning. For anyone suffering PCOS, um, some people might be on this like me. It is a, whoops, Dianet. Okay, so then the next thing that I do in the morning is I use one of these. These are cleansing wipes. Oops. These ones are Athena. They are used for mature skin and anti-aging skin, but they give you the vitamins that you need. By the way, this is after I wash my face because there might be some extra cheeky little makeup left over. So, you want to make sure your skin is nice and proper. Get rid of all those imperfections. I'm not rubbing hard enough. You have to rub hard enough to get every imperfection off. There you go. Get around the nostrils, all the little places. Boom. That's, that's it. <laughs> Once I do that, I then head on to cream this cream is called anti-aging day cream for the day the difference between day cream and night cream is that night cream is a lot thicker and it doesn't look as great if you're gonna wear it in the day because it's called night cream i mean the, the concept is there in the title i don't think i can be more specific than that put that on your face don't forget your neck because your neck is where your age shows the most your neck and your hands Fun little fact there. Put that on your face. There you go. There's my face. This is what I use under my eyes because I like to stay up every night till late hours. So I'm gonna use one of these. Oh God, where is it? Ugh, everything's going wrong. It's cucumber. Cucumber for under the ice. Shoot. <laughs> it's cucumber eye roll on. So you put that under the eyeballs. Oh, everything stings. That's how it meant. it's meant to feel. Everything stings in life. I'm trying to make this an optimistic tutorial and stuff, but it's not. Okay, that's under the eyes. That's gonna make them less puffy. We are gonna use my foundation. This one is foundation and it is anti-fatigue. Uh, Wake Me Up, Rimmel London, Anti-Fatigue Spring Skin Foundation. Grab that. Bosh. I think I got the wrong colour. That's going to be fun. There's some cream on my nose. Ah! Take that. Put that around your face. Don't just do what I did. Don't put it on your lips. You don't need it on there. Well, actually, that looks okay. That adds, I went a bit lighter with the colour. And that actually looks more like a match for my skin, kind of. Maybe I'm just lying to myself. Maybe it doesn't. Actually, uh, uh, it 
Bix a little bit. A little bit. But, uh... Hmm, I think I've got it. Maybe. Boom. Boom. Why do I look so long? Why do I look so goddamn pale now? Maybe I got it wrong. M maybe. It's fine. Okay. So, now I've got the foundation up. Oh yeah. Don't forget your little imperfections. You might want to add a little bit more extra. A little bit more. Dab that on. I'm just going to leave it like that. Dab that on. Dab that in. Get rid of that. Get rid of that spot. It's become a little bit of a scar recently because I kept picking it. Because I can't help it. Alright. Foundation is on my face. I've run out of concealer and forgot to buy some. So, no concealer today. I used to use this one. Well, it's exactly the same as my new one. Brow Zings. There it is. My Brow Zings. Brow Zings comes with a beautiful like a little case like this. Hello. It's from Benefit. It comes with two sections. It comes with the wax and with the powder. And that's pretty much it. You want to get the wax on the eyeballs. I think, should I, should I even, should I zoom in for this? God, do you want to see my face closer? Well, too late. <laughs> You're going to see it. Okay. Now, my brows are already pretty thick. But I'm going to make them thicker. Because it's fun. So what I do, get a little bit of wax on my eye. And I do a line all the way up. Plop! I do a line all the way down. Plop! I do the bottom like this. Oh, I've gone too far. If you've gone too far, just rub it off! <laughs> um, do the same with the other one. My goodness, I need to do some plucking. I just realised. What is that? You can't see it, but there's so many hairs there. Okay, it's fine. Everything is fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You change around the thing. Do that. I forgot to mention, I check my phone when I'm in, in the morning. I know people are like, hey, just relax and spend your time without looking at a phone. But then I realise I have clients that message me at night. So when I wake up and I don't read those messages or get back to them, I lose work. So I can't just have a peaceful morning of not checking my phone. It's fundamental. Right, eyebrows are done. Hello there. I have one of these also. This is from Benefit. It's called a Brow Contour Pro. It has deeper shades, lighter shades, highlighter shades. What you want to do, pop that. Boom. Go around. Oh no! Don't go on the brow. Go around the brow. Go around the brow. Below the brow. Make the brow beautiful. Do it to the same brow. No one likes a brow that looks weird. Okay. Okay, it's blending. There you go. Blended! Perfect! I'm gonna try this out. This is called Crystal Clear, Clear Conditioning Mascara. So we're gonna do this on our brows. Let's get, maybe to make them rise like the Jedi. Rise. They do look risen. Now I'm gonna try something magical. I'm gonna try to do a James Charles tutorial. Even though I've never done it before. Fun. I'm gonna start with a lovely... Pinkety... Trinkety. That's what I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna grab that on my cheap ass brush 
Don't even ask where I got it from because I don't know. Gonna grab that on the eye and I'm gonna pop that on. Okay, sure. That will be my base colour, the Pingerty. Do you guys wanna see a, a close up? Probably not, but you're gonna get one. Okay, boom. Um, doesn't seem to be, oh, there you go. That's better. You gotta lay the eye with that pink. Right. <laughs> the base was easy enough, but now I need to do something dramatic with the colors. Artistry, no? Love, that's what I'm gonna try. Okay, I'm gonna try love that, which is right next to drinkity pinkity. Love that. Oh no. <gasps> yep. So you, you wanna take that in the middle? Oh no! <laughs> Damn it, I should have always get rid of the excess. I'm gonna get rid of that because that is not, it looks like I've been punched in the face. I wish life was as easy as getting foundation and just going over all the pretty little mistakes. When they do on the on the things, on the YouTube channels I watch, I'm like, wow, so pretty. Then I try it, I'm like, wow, so bright. That should have been the amount I should be using. Don't try this at home. Oh my God. We're gonna take artistry right next to it. And we're gonna, we're gonna put that in the middle. Because everybody needs a little bit of glitter in their lives. So we're gonna put that in the center. Okay, that looks a little bit better. That eye, I like that eye. You're gonna have to do something about that. I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Look. Oh, I can magic wave my mistakes, yes. Oh, what have I done? There you go. Fix that. Shoot right there. Yes. There you go. Perfect. Better. Now we have more of a playing field to go back to. Now we can blend everything out a lot better. Let's see how it looks. On the zoom out. Zoom out! That looks a bit better. So anything you're like, oh my gosh, what have I done? Just get your beauty blender and make those mistakes go away. <laughs> okay, I kind of want to add a little bit more glam in the middle. I want more sparkle, so I'm going to go back and use artistry again. Because it's so pretty. And I want to be a gosh darn mermaid. <laughs> Hello there. Okay, so now we're going to use flashback, and flashback's going to be used in the inner inner parts. Hello. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, it actually works. I need to blend it a bit more, but hello. That's so cool. Cool. Okay, so this is kind of how the eye look has turned out. I've never touched this palette before, so if you're like, oh, it looks horrible, you're doing 20 things wrong. I know, most likely. I'm not a makeup guru. You didn't come here to watch that. Maybe you did. Boy, that looks tragic. Okay, cool. So, my, my cat thing's fallen down. Right. Right, eyes. I need some some eyeliner, eye stuff. Now this is where it could go really, really bad. Well, that didn't turn out as good as it should have, but 
Once again, when you make a mistake, you can fix it. So, okay, bottom lid, done, hello, top lid, bottom lid, done, um, lips, by the way, may I say I don't do this every morning because it would take way too much time. But if I had to do things and I wanted to be glamorous, then I maybe would do this in the morning. So that was just a lip liner. Then I'm gonna use a, what is this? Rimmel London again. This is a, what color is this? This is Drop of Sherry. It's always been quite a nice color on those lips. So there you go. I just need to add a little bit of color to my face because I look a little bit like a ghost still. I'm gonna add a little bit of Max and More, which is a uh, drugstore blush, just to my face a little bit. So the colors all kind of go together. Hot oh, damn. That's done. Eyes, this is a instant volume boost power boost by, once again, probably Rimmel London. That's the point I don't. Love makeup I use is Rimmel, yay. Rimmel, and more Rimmel, and more Rimmel. I'm gonna use those just on the top lashes, pop. My eyes look really green today, they change colour. So if you are like, what's your eye colour? Not that you'd ask, it's grey, but it has a yellow circle, the yellow specks in the middle which make it change colour to the surroundings. Outside it is a grey English day, so that is why they look kind of greeny grey. When I wake up, my hair's normally fluffy. I will do a bit of a, I don't know what's going on here. Do a bit of a comb out, probably straighten it. And I'm trying to grow my fringe out at the moment, unsuccessfully. And there you go. There is my look done. Um, you might want to see a close up, sure. Boy, well, thank you for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed this glamorous wake up routine. I'm going to call it that because I don't do a full face of makeup every morning. I do there with stuff though. But if you enjoyed this kind of makeup tutorial thing and you want to see more morning things, feel free to ask me and comment below about what you thought. No bad comments, please. I'm not good with makeup, okay? See you guys.